our next opponent here, we have Zagunchik. Good luck, Zagunchik. Only viewers from Turkey today. We're gonna have the Queen's Gambit here. It starts out with d4, d5. Then you play c4 to gambit a pawn here, offering it up as a little sacrifice to gain a bit of a positional advantage here. There we go, they accepted the gambit. Now I'm gonna play e4, thrusting forward in the center. Now I have two pawns in the center, and look at these squares that I control. Huge squares to control. But, the pawn comes forward, okay. We just take space. Space has been taken, everybody. Now knight can't come to here. Look at this space I control. These are squares in the enemy territory. And this pawn, oh no, square controls my territory. Oh, look what it's coming, bishop right to here to take it. Bishop, ooh, look at this. And now, look at all the territory. That's just territorial. I could even do this first. Um, actually I will because uh, my pawn is hanging here. But you know, you guys know what it is. This is happening. Ooh, five here. Bishop coming out. Okay, smart. Currently blocking the pin. Oh, not smart actually. Huge blunder. You can't play, you can't play the bishop move to here when this pawn is right here. Because you always think, okay, well, if they check here, I'll defend with the knight, blocking the check, and defending the bishop. But you can't do that now. It's just a blunder. Little check. Little check action. Double attack here. They really want to put, bring the knight here to defend the bishop and block the check, but the pawn... Ooh, just rough. Because I moved the pawn forward there. That's the queen's gambit, though. A lot of... A lot of you, know, you know I said? Look at all these squares I control in the enemy territory. Well, huge square control right there. Uh, now, guys, I'm wondering, I'm wondering, no, you can't do that, because then he has check here. Just takes. Right? No problems. This is probably just going to be a trade down, right? Hold on. Do I have another check here with a double attack? Incredible. It's basically the same thing as before, but on a light, light, little bit different square. This video will be called 800 players miss this fork. I don't know. Do I take here and then take here, or do I just take here? Let's just go simple. Simply up two pieces. Probably won't see this fork either. Probably gonna get three forks in a row. Oh my goodness. He can't keep getting away with it, but he can. Just like knight to c6, right? Most natural move here for, for the 800. Oh, okay. Well, rook coming out soon, probably. Probably next. Or there's this. Which is probably smarter, but yeah, probably better move. Also like this. This just feels like you're getting forked next move. What's happening? The triple fork. Three forks in a row, guys. Legendary. Just gonna get that. Gonna get that out there. Actually, might even just checkmate here, probably. This is, like, I can't see... I don't see how I don't checkmate here with four pieces attacking the king here. Um. Like, this is checkmate, isn't it? Incredible. Good game. I'm gonna start with the Queen's Gambit, D4. Oh, just the Indian game. Alright. Queen's Indian. Normal variation. Four pawn attack, though. Keep developing. Uh, maybe, like, press forward here. Here or there. Maybe I should have. Then? I don't know how to play this. When they Fianchetto, I just fall apart, guys. I think if you want to beat me, you just have to Fianchetto your bishop and then castle kingside and I lose. I don't know what to do if they do that. Okay. I like it. This gives me this gives me definitive space, doesn't it? I just owned this space. Oh, knight back. Beautiful. Making them go backwards. Now this. And if they just go backwards again, just, just put the pieces, reset the pieces here. Totally fine with me, but I'll take a trade too. Okay, we have the bishop pair now, and they might think that I don't know how to on passant if I don't do it. But should I? Why not? I'd even just push here. 
I like this though. Feels solid in the night in Castle Scene. If they do this, I go boom boom and then hit this pawn too. Alright, they're immediately attacking my center, but. Wait a second. Am I getting tricky? Or should I just have this? This is, a, this is just the most beautiful pass pawn that I can castle and get behind. Which I think I have to do. Because isn't this coming soon and I have to worry about that coming soon to a chessboard near you? Oh, they're going to have a nice rook though. You think I should have taken with the knight? Connected pass pawn in the middle. Oh, but it would have been pass pawns on the outside too. Would have been better than the, the, the middle one here. It's a little bit farther up. They have a bishop pair, which I could use in this open game, and I have an outside pass pawn. And I have a uh, pawn advantage here, so we should trade down if we can. This. Moves in. This. I don't know if I'm actually doing anything with that move. Also, they weakened their king now for a diagonal attack. Now, this is a fork. And that could be the winning tactic. And they resign. A lot of people here will think this is a free bishop, first of all, but oh, I hit him with the check, and then he blocks this, and then I go here, and then pawn takes any time, he just takes here with check. This is the move. No, it's not. This is the move first. If I do this, then then they, they take with check, I take back, and then knight takes here. Don't fall for this, guys. So, this first. Or this, right? Wait, you have pin the knight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what am I thinking? Now we have good pawns. Three good pawns here and a bishop pair. Okay. Take the knight. Because if I drop back, then they go forward, and then I go here, and then they take my pawn still. So I gotta take the knight. No blunders. Yeah, we gotta play this. Play this right. No blunders in the opening this time. We just developed in the last knight and then castle, right? No reason to be moving pawns forward yet. And their next move will probably be knight here or something, or castling. I could go either one here, probably. Hold on, they want to do this. Check, and they just do this, right? And then I'll drop back one. And then they have a hard time castling, I guess. And they can't just do this, because if I take do this, it'll be boom, boom. Then I'm just dropping back. And blocking a castle. For now, keeping the king in the center. They want to trade queens, maybe? They really want to castle, that's what's going on, but... Where can I put my queen? I don't think I want to trade. Yeah, bring my queen into the game. And get ready for future moves, perhaps. And I'm just taking with Rook, right? Because it feels good to get my Rook up here for, for the future. Kind of disconnects my pawns, though, but... This would have kept my pawns connected with the Rook behind them. For, for, for like, a endgame queen side attacks, but... I just love the king side attacks so much more. 
Oh, I can do this now. And probably this is just, oh my gosh, and your bishop is useless? Oh my gosh, your bishop's useless. I am just locking down the entire position with all the space in the world. There's no way I'm taken here, right? Yep. Wow, and you just are so done. You can't, you can't take this pawn. Bishop's a pawn now because it has to defend this because I'm attacking this. Wow, guys. Oh my gosh, this is positional chess. And now I can have, oh, I can do this now too. Should I go here first? Here or here? Oh, here, 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 here. Because the we're pinning pawns, and they we already clarified that they don't know what pins are. So could have almost been checkmate, maybe. Maybe I should just like brought the other rook up. I don't know. Could like queen sack, boom, check, check. No, there's not. That, that's not there. Something's happening about to checkmate coming up soon on the Bobby Bro Show live on Twitch.tv, YouTube.com. Hit that like button if you guys are enjoying the show today. Just a positional masterpiece here. The checkmate feels like it should be. Either bring the rook up here, or it's like checkmate here. Let's see if I have a sacrifice. Boom, boom. And then that doesn't really go anywhere. You can just bring the rook up. We need all the pieces to checkmate. Fork. The fork in time. Yeah, just gotta go for the move that wins material here, I think. Probably here, right? Take here, and then I'm forking and discovered checking. So... Oh my gosh, they just resigned. Oh my goodness, guys. I've been, I, I'm not brushed up on the Karokan theory, but we're going to go for it because it's the only opening I know. Just expand, maybe. Was this StarCraft? About to get my, f my first expansion on the king's side, guys. We have E6. Bishop out. Knights here. What are we doing? We're playing. We are playing the Karo Khan, and I don't know what that means, but maybe it means we push this pawn up. Trading queens we could keep him from castling if we do, if we do this little maneuver, and then no, I don't think I'm doing it. Maybe if they take here, then I check, and then they block, and then I take here, and then the knight's undefended, and my queen's out here, and they block the check with the bishop probably or something. Then they have to move the knight somewhere, and then this pawn is just goosed. Oh my gosh. And then you put your bishop here to defend your knight. Nope. Okay, double their pawns up. Probably should just go for this. Then I'm up a pawn and they have doubled pawns as well as my doubled pawns. And I can attack it with something like this at some point, but maybe not now. What the heck? I go back. Or if I move here, am I just getting... Is it happening? Let's imagine. Okay, I go here. Take, take. Boom. Oh, but I can block. We'll go back now. Just defensive. Yeah, we're fine. We're not worried about anything. Probably just being defensive for now. And trying to get these pieces into the game somehow. This bishop is probably going to be not in the game, but... We can start expanding queen side. Ooh, yeah, this now. Yeah, they realized that. I don't know what they realized, but this is undefended, I guess. If the queen moves, but ah, uh, yes, good one. I should just take here. Yeah, what I'm, there's no thinking here because now your pawn is like these pawns are doubled and isolated. So I'm just gotta be good. I gotta be good here. And then, maybe, I mean, not that. some point, maybe that. Oh. Didn't expect that. I really didn't expect that. I really expected the pawn to take. Oh, okay. I guess that's better. I'm up a pawn. We could just give that up. Oh, wait, why don't we just take this and then I'm pawn situation solved. Correct? What can I do here? Guess I have to do this, right? Gosh, they have so many positional weaknesses. How do I take advantage of it? This king is like this king is weak on the diagonal. That's what I'm thinking, but no way to exploit that yet. 
C5 at some point. Yeah. Okay, we know what's going on. Feel like they're weakening themselves here. Oh yeah, huge weakness. Super interesting position for sure. This is coming up though, live on the Bobby Bo Show. If uh, and and this too, like probably this because it's the taken stuff. But I mean, no, they're probably defending that, and then I'm playing this right. Like queen has to go back, and and then you're in a bad spot, kind of. Although they're putting their queen behind their pawns, which are going at my king, and could open up lines, so could be pretty even still, I guess. But I think I need to play this, and hopefully, I'm just doing better for now. I can't just let them take because of this, so I think I have to do the taking here. I'm up two pawns right now, right? Oh, so good. And they're down to two and a half minutes. Okay, they're going to try to threaten this. I should probably just take here. No, I should just go here, right? No. No, just this. No, not that. They want to bring like rook up and over. Fork. Game over fork? No. Hold on, they had to have seen this fork. Hold on. Also, just take this. Hold on. Let's think. Of, let's think about this fork though, because the fork is turning into a checkmate threat. No, it's not even a checkmate threat, is it? Well, it kind of is actually. Hold on. No, it's not. Guys, what's happening? Fork. Boom. Take. And then if they check, then I just go over. There's no threat. What's the check? Um, maybe not. Maybe just take this. What did I just lose? What did I just do? Oh. It's okay, I guess, right? Rook sack? How's he gonna work rook sack? I don't think it works sack. We're safe. Oh my gosh, don't get checkmated. I'm thinking fork, or, or hit him with the check, and then when he moves the king, do this. No more checks, and this rook is pinned. Can't move it, and I can just trade it off next. Trade all the pieces off, let's do it. Or, oh, I can't do that because of the pin. Okay, one by resignation. 